We're here at the Utica Children's Museum in Utica, New York for the last day of We Need a Hero Con event fundraiser. All proceeds from yesterday and today's event go to support the Utica Children's Museum. We have creators of all industries here. We have artists, actors, directors, authors, performers, you name it, they are here supporting this great cause. Right now we are hanging with comic book illustrator, new writer, instructor, Yuko Smith. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. So tell us, um, what uh, what kind of comic books do you illustrate? Uh, pretty much any of all sorts, you know. But um, I like a lot of uh, action style uh, uh, storytelling. Um, and so uh, I did a book a few years ago with uh, IDW uh, called FX: The Lost Land. You know, where I did both the uh, penciling and the inking. For that. Awesome. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So what um, inspires you to do this kind of work? Oh, you know, growing up we had so many idols, artistic idols growing up. You know, not only not only, you know, artists like Frazetta, Michelangelo, you know, artists like Soriyama who I grew up knowing, uh, 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 Patrick Nagel, you know, those artists I've inspired, you know, to be. And so also I have older brothers that were also artists too. And so it was sort of in the family. So you come from a long line of uh, creative minds? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. yeah. That's awesome. Um, did you have to go to school or are you a natural artist? Uh, natural artist, you know, but I did go to school. I went to uh, Columbus College of Art and Design. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so I graduated from there, you know, did my whole freelancing thing and all that, and, and now I'm back there teaching uh, part-time, oh. teaching the uh, comic book illustration course. That's awesome. Um, let's see. What artwork do you most identify with? Uh, drawing women, actually. I love drawing really? female, I love drawing female <laughs> characters. You know what I mean? Like, growing up, you draw the guys and all that stuff, which is cool. But, uh, you know, drawing female characters is one of the things I wanted to get better at. You know? Uh -huh. so, but, yeah, um, drawing female characters. Try, my, and do you favorite. do that from uh, mind, or do you use live women, both. people? Both. Oh, you do both. Mm -hmm. both. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, early on it was out of my head. But over time, I've gone to use models. For the most, you know, not not for everything, right. but um, it does help. Oh, yeah. yeah. And plus, uh, over the years, is that? it's, fun. It's, it's fun, you know. And um, plus, I've learned that people tend to like that the women that you do draw or illustrate, they, they kind of like the fact that it's a real person behind it, you know, as opposed oh. to something being made up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. What's your favorite artwork? What's my favorite artwork? Um, I like a lot of I like fantasy. I love, I love comics. Um, I love you know just art in general. You know, but um, the things that I gravitate towards are artists like you know your uh, Michelangelo, uh, uh, Frank Frazetta. You know, um, artists are uh, artwork that's, that's similar in that kind of a science fiction fantasy. And you like color? You like black and white? Uh, I like a little bit of both, you know, but I like my visual style nowadays. It's more of a, it's very uh, uh, muted, you know, with limited color, you know, so that's what I see, you know, and that's what I've grown to work with, you know, because, you know, doing full color, I can do it, but the thing that really has more emotional attachment to me is when I do more uh, uh, muted tones in color. And do you use uh, pencils, inking? Um, do you get into the like the digital world of art? Um, yeah, I do. I do. Uh, I do all, all sorts of mixed media. You know, so uh, the penciling, the inking, uh, watercolors, uh, mock, um, uh, markers, copic, copic markers. You know, then I go. I'll, I'll take a lot of the uh, traditional 
drawn artwork, you know, I'll scan things in and colorize it and Photoshop if I need to, you know. And so I, I can work, I can work uh, uh, both uh, platforms. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what's the most embarrassing moment in your <laughs> in your uh, creative? Um, as far as like attending shows. Or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I anybody me. like anybody ever ask you to do something? Um, yeah, there were, I've, I've had some um, requests that I've had to turn down. <laughs> you know, I would say that because oh, uh, it, it's something that I, I don't really want to get into. But, but yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is G. Yeah. <laughs> PG. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. If I did, I had to change my name. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. so do you do a lot of uh, cons? Uh, quite a bit, yes. Uh, throughout the year, I, I'll do anywhere from like 15 to 18 shows. Oh. Throughout the yeah, year, awesome. you know, but uh, as an artist, for me, I can't do that many, you know what I mean? Because you got to produce the work, yeah, you know. I'm going to for me, going to a lot of shows just doesn't work out that way, oh, yeah, it's yeah. not profitable. Uh, it is profitable going to shows, yes, but um, I got to produce the work, oh. <laughs> you know, so going to shows every weekend, but you know, I can't quite do that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the most unusual thing that you've seen at a con? Unusual thing, oh, wow. I don't know. If, well, one, it was years ago, uh -huh. but you, know, you have a lot of uh, cosplayers. Uh -huh. You know, when there's women, this might be a little bit embarrassing. That's I don't okay. know. Go not right not, for, not for me. Not for me. <laughs> not for me. But well, it was a funny sight where there was there were women. At, there were some co cosplayers, and they had leather. They were wearing leather, and they were oiling up the leather. I guess to make it a little bit more softer. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And what was funny? I see some kid. I see a kid. He's like staring. <laughs> and, I like, and I couldn't help but laugh. But the kid was just staring. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a funny moment. Not embarrassing for me, but it was just a funny moment. Um, is there anyone at cons that you just totally geek right over? Oh, you know, uh, I, I, I try not to, you know, but um, if, if I, I, I thought I saw at uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con a few years ago, what looked like to me was uh, Christina Ritchie. Oh, yeah. She's one of my favorite actresses, uh -huh. and I saw someone that looked like her. I wasn't quite sure. It was like her and um, a New York Comic Con I went to a few years ago, which looked like another um, uh, a person I thought that looked like uh, Olivia Wilde, looked just mm. like her. You know, so I wasn't quite sure. You know, but um, I just like just let it go. <laughs> you know, so let it go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, do you like to work alone or do you like to work with others? Um, uh, working with others is great. You know, I've been a part of a studio and, uh, you know, I work by myself as well. Um, being part of a studio, is, you know, you, you get to uh, gravitate towards a lot of energy and there's a lot of energy flowing around. You know, and that helps with the creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, and so uh, nowadays, you know, I kind of work by myself in my studio. You know, and so um, a lot of times I have things playing in the background. You know, music and that sort of thing. And so um, I still have I still have that energy. You know, it's more motivation because you are by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, I, I, working with people in the studio is is still great because then you can really talk to somebody. Right. Let's see. What do we? Oh, we're gonna play clickbait. You know what clickbait is? Clickbait. Clickbait is. Uh, <laughs> I've heard the term. <laughs> you're trolling the internet. You click on a site. It takes you to somewhere completely different that uh -huh. you didn't want to go. Okay. So these are questions that our girls in Florida have trolled the internet, looking for silly, off the wall questions that internet people want to know. These are real questions. These are real, true questions and I don't know what they are. Okay. If you went to space, what three things would you bring if you were there for one year? For one year? Well, <laughs> huh, to space. To space. <laughs> on a planet or just like on a shuttle? In the, in the yeah, I don't know. Either Wherever you whatever want. Whatever you want, yeah. Okay, well, from watching, I like watching Naked and Afraid. Right, so I'll take some hints from that show. <laughs> so um, a flint to start a fire. 
Yeah. Uh, a machete. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, what's, what's another one that they usually bring? Oh. Um, I forget, what's the third one? I guess a compass. Oh. I suppose. Yeah. Oh, those are those are all good ones. Yeah. If you could, if you only could have one meal for the rest of your life, what would that be? <laughs> a good burger. Ah. A really good burger. Uh, What's your ultimate midnight snack? Peanut butter crackers. Oh, those are good. <laughs> <ready>. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You only need a few. So. <laughs> That's right. Well, guys, it's been so much fun hanging with Yuko Smith here at the Utica Children's Museum final day of HeroCon 2017. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of our show and today's guests. You can also check our guest link below. Remember to subscribe, log in, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you.